Hey, what's up guys? It's Scares here. Now, our first story of today actually comes from Pokimane. Okay, so we talked about Pokimane getting exposed a couple days ago. She was exposed by one of her former best friends, Fedmeister. Now, Fedmeister made a 25-page long document where he straight up exposed Pokimane, saying here that she lied on her stream. Now, Fedmeister never meant for this document to be leaked, but after it got leaked, Pokimane had to come out on her stream, and she also refuted a lot of these claims herself. But this has just caused so much controversy over the last few days, and Pokimane has been getting a lot of backlash. Actually, speaking of Pokimane, she was embroiled in some controversy just a few hours ago. This was huge. So just three hours ago, people exposed one of Pokemon's mods for apparently not letting a trans woman on her Discord server. So this trans person tweeted out saying, Pokemon server has a girl's role, but apparently you can't get it unless you're verified by talking in voice chat. I asked the mod what happens if you're trans, and they just straight up said I couldn't get the role. And you even had other trans women coming out here saying that they got banned for saying that they were trans on the server. It was actually kind of insane, but it doesn't actually look like this was Pokemon's fault herself. It looks like it was one of her mods on her Discord server. Actually, this mod is known as Plux, and he responded to a trans person here who wanted to be in the girl role on Pokemon's server. And he said, unfortunately, you can't. Wasn't our idea, it was Pokey's idea that girls only. Now, Chris, who is the trans woman, responded here saying, yeah, and I am a girl. And Plux responds back saying, a trans girl. So this completely blew up. It has been everywhere over the last few hours. I mean, this tweet here has over 10,000 and retweets in only a few hours. People are really upset with Pokemon over this, and Pokemon did decide to respond to this whole situation. She says, I'm looking into this with said bod and proof of the conversation that was held between them, and I will contact SHSL Chris, which is the trans woman, directly to resolve this and to assure that she is welcomed properly. Anyone in my community should be welcomed with open arms, no matter what gender and sexuality. And I'm so sorry if anyone was made to feel otherwise, especially by a mod. That is not okay, and I'll make sure it's properly handled handled. Furthermore, I've unmodded the person in question. Again, I'm so sorry for this interaction as it is not something I reinforce or a rule of mine and it is far from representative of my personal opinions as I truly support the trans community. And it looks like Pokemon really did contact this trans person here. Actually, Chris tweeted this out. She says, update on the situation with Pokey. She contacted me and made sure to apologize for the situation. She's actually super sweet and talking to her was surreal. I've been unbanned from the Discord. Thanks to everyone for the support on my message. Now our next story of today comes from Leafy. Okay, so Leafy tweeted this out last night. He says, so I guess Pokemon was exposed or something. YouTube, why was I even suspended again with no strikes? Most of your lame policy changes were made in 2018 when I wasn't even making videos. If there isn't an appeal, that's fine. I'm just sick of seeing these emails. And he shows here that even though his entire channel has been banned from YouTube, all of his videos have been deleted, he is still getting emails from YouTube saying that they have taken action against some of his older videos, which makes no sense because his videos aren't even on YouTube. YouTube anymore. Leafy responded here saying, even after they ban you, they're still unmonetizing your videos. I guess every other day, some random four to five year old videos gets reviewed. Maybe some automated stuff? Who knows? But we all know they're not going to respond with anything that isn't automated. Double standards. So Leafy is obviously very upset here, and many of his fans are saying that him and YouTube have a toxic relationship. And he responded to this fan saying, who is even reviewing my old videos? Like, they really be like that. Like, bro, I am banned, no appeal or not. Like, they're trying to keep the door open intentionally, and it's tilted. YouTube very good troll. So Leafy thinks that maybe they're keeping the door open somehow. I mean, it just, it seems very strange how videos that have been deleted off of YouTube are still getting reviewed. It just makes no sense. And it, somehow it seems like his videos are still on the system and no one knows what's going on with Leafy's channel. I mean, it just seems like it was erased. He didn't have any strikes beforehand. Now the next story of today comes from Jake Paul. So I'm sure many of you already know this, but if you don't know, Jake Paul was actually going to fight the NBA player Nate Robinson tonight on the undercard for the Mike Tyson versus Roy Jones Jr. fight. Now, obviously, this is a huge spoiler alert for any of you guys who haven't seen the fight yet, but Jake Paul absolutely crushed Nate Robinson, okay? Jake had actually dropped Nate Robinson multiple times on the first round, and he KO'd Nate Robinson on the second round. Like, Jake was absolutely dominating during this fight. So many YouTubers were surprised by this whole thing. They could not believe how good Jake Paul looked during this fight. Bryce Hall tweeted out saying, Jake Paul just made us YouTubers look good. The YouTuber Leon Lush tweeted out saying, Nate Robinson is not a boxer, so he might have made anyone look good. But damn, he got crumpled like an old newspaper. Now, Jake's former boxing opponent, Deji, reacted to this fight immediately. He says, are you for real? That's it? Nate was trash, man. I hate to say it. He tried respect to both of them. Now, the YouTuber Cavos tweeted out saying, holy shit. 
Jake Paul knocked out Nate Robinson cold. Damn, if I was KSI, I would be worried watching this one. And that's right, a lot of people are now saying, you know, KSI might be in for a pretty hard fight if he's going to fight Jake Paul in the future. But it doesn't look like KSI is worried at all. He tweeted out saying, I saw nothing special from Jake, soon to come. Now after the fight, Jake Paul had tried to upload the full fight to his YouTube channel and Jake's video was immediately taken down for copyright. Now our next story of today comes from the TSM duo Daquan and Hamlins. Now for any of you guys who have watched these guys before, they are huge on Fortnite, okay? Absolutely massive channels and they both streamed a lot and they were just some of the biggest names in the Fortnite scene back when they were making content. But back in December of last year, about exactly a year ago actually, they decided to not stream anymore. They stopped streaming and Daquan actually completely went off of social media back in March. He stopped posting and people have been asking, you know, what's going on with these guys? Why did they just completely vanish off of social media? And you had a lot of people in the community trying to get people like Hamlin's back on to stream and make content. Actually, Tifu even came out here saying that he's trying to get Hamlin's back. So this has been a huge deal from the community over the past few months. People want to know what's going on with them, if they are okay. And Daquan actually just came back yesterday. He posted his first tweet in literally over eight months. He says, I'm feeling better than I have in years. I'm always thankful. Thankful. And he shows here a picture of him and his cat. So he verifies to us here that he is okay and that he's doing well. And this tweet has almost a quarter million likes on Twitter. People send him so much support and love. Obviously, people want to see him come back. Now, our next story of today comes from one of the Sidemen members, Bazinga. Now, I'm sure most of us know who Bazinga is, right? He's massive on YouTube. Such a huge name. Now, just a month ago, Bazinga came out with his first ever YouTube original series, okay? And you can see here that people love this series. I mean, it was so high quality that people showed so much support on this. Well, Bazinga says here that he has actually she topped the charts on a YouTube original series. He says, How to Be Bazinga is the most liked YouTube original. Holy smokes. Now, our next story of today's video also has to do with another Sidemen member. KSI recently tweeted this out just yesterday. He says, On Christmas Day, I'm going to give you the best, most unexpected Christmas present ever. So this has led to a lot of speculation through the community right now. People are asking, what is going on with KSI? What is he going to release on Christmas Day? That's so unexpected. Now, a fan responded saying, now we expect it. And KSI responded back saying, oh, trust me you're not expecting this so at first a lot of people thought that maybe he was coming out with a new song or something but maybe this is something way different I mean it really does look like he's doing something completely unexpected and people just have no idea what KSI is going to be releasing okay so our next story of today comes from Nintendo okay so Nintendo obviously is huge on YouTube you have lots of people playing Nintendo games all the time but recently Nintendo has been taking down a lot of content from YouTubers now a well-known creator just tweeted out yesterday saying I guess my Goku video got ninja by Nintendo so what happened here is is this creator made a video where he modded Goku into Smash, okay? And it was a very well received video. I mean, this video was huge. People loved it because it was really well done. And it turns out that his video was completely taken down by Nintendo, okay? It's been blocked. Now, there are some people that are saying maybe this was a false claim from someone pretending to be Nintendo, but honestly, this is not surprising to anyone right now because Nintendo has been taking down a lot of other content. Actually, Alpha Rab responded here saying, I'm sorry, but it's just embarrassing at this point. I promise you that Nintendo's financial security isn't suddenly at risk because someone modded Goku into the game. And that's right, people are just very upset with Nintendo right now. They feel like this could be avoided somehow. Maybe they could give a warning to the creator or something, but taking down people's videos like this is very, very scary stuff. Now, our next story of today comes from the massive Twitch streamer Forsen. Okay, so Forsen, he's been a streamer for a long time now. He's been in the community forever now. Now, if you don't know, Forsen actually has had a pretty bad relationship with Twitch because only a month ago, he was banned for his accent. I mean, he said the words F it, but Twitch actually thought he said the derogatory F word, and that led to his Twitch channel actually getting banned. So it was a very sad situation because this guy had an accent and Twitch thought he was saying something that he wasn't. Fuck. Fuck it. So, uh, I say fuck. And then I say fuck it, right? With my silly Swedish accent. And apparently that sounds like something else. And Forsen got banned again just yesterday. He says, I'm currently banned for the horse gif. The ban is indefinite, which means undetermined ban duration. Unlucky. So what Forsen is saying here is that he is pretty much permanently banned off of Twitch right now. When Twitch indefinitely bans someone, it means that they can actually leave their account banned forever. They don't have to reinstate them unless they want to. So that is actually so scary for Forsen here. I mean, this guy had a huge following on Twitch and now his entire Twitch channel has been banned because he accidentally opened up a gif that was inappropriate. 
appropriate. Now, this is the issue with Twitch right now, is that people will make a mistake that they obviously did not mean to do, but their Twitch channel will get banned and then their entire career will be ruined over it. And now you have a lot of creators defending Force in here, saying that this is a huge double standard and how bigger streamers like Pokemon didn't even get banned at all for showing inappropriate content, but now Forsen is indefinitely suspended. Now, our next story of today comes from a YouTuber who's also a doctor. His name is Dr. Mike. I'm sure you've watched his videos before. He's over 6.5 million subscribers and people love this guy. Well, Dr. Mike has been in a lot of controversy over the past week, and this is because he was seen at a party in Miami while this pandemic is going on and he wasn't wearing a mask and no one else was wearing masks either. And people got really upset over this because he wasn't practicing what he preaches in his videos. And Dr. Mike even had to make an apology to this. He posted this video to his second channel and this has actually hit the trending page on YouTube now. It's completely blown up and he still is getting a ton of backlash. This video has over 11,000 dislikes. Just watch this. I messed up. I really did. And I need to do better. The reason I'm saying this is because of the impact of my trip. The impact can harm the medical message that I've been delivering from the beginning of this pandemic. And the people that I'm saying sorry to right now are very specific people. It's you who have supported me on this channel and been loyal viewers. It's those healthcare providers on the front line who are caring for patients sick with COVID-19. It's those people at home, it's you at home who's done the right thing this entire time and sees me doing this. I'm sorry, I let you down. What I can say is that I'm gonna strive to do better. And that's it for our video tonight, guys. Hopefully you enjoy it. If you did, please be sure to leave a thumbs up and I'll see you later, peace.